Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be talking about The Exorcist. So this is a horror movie, one of my all-time favorites. I think it's even one of the all-time best movies ever made. Nevertheless, a horror movie. It came out in 1973, directed by William Freakin, and produced and written by William Peter Blatty. And it's based on his 1971 of the same name, a novel he wrote. The film stars Ellen Burstyn, Max von Sydow, Lee J. Cobb, Kitty Wynn, Jack McGovern, Jason Miller, Linda Blair. What a child performance, I should say, by the way. I was fascinated with horror ever since I was a child. My mother had a huge library of horror books. I remember the day I asked her if I could watch this and read the book. And growing up, she would told me about her experiences in the movie theater going to see it. I recommend watching documentaries, the stories on behind the scenes. It is amazing and fascinating, the reactions people had to this movie. This movie was truly a horror movie. It hit all the elements right. It still holds up, in my opinion, today. Ranks up there with the best ever. You can't go wrong with The Exorcist, in my opinion. Although I could see a certain portion already biased, but hey, that's what religion and certain beliefs will do for you. But this is a movie that I appreciated at a young age, surprisingly, right? Well, I never really believed much, so... To me, it was just a work of art, like Star Wars or, you know, one of the movies that blows your mind at the time, The Matrix. Its story is in-depth. The scenes are very tight and small. You don't see many wide shots of um, uh, establishments and constant moving of the story, but it's done so well. It's just gives you goosebumps even now even though I'm not a believer haven't been ever really in my life just the elements that it hits the language the the tenseness the, the real life feel it gives to this a supernatural horror story no major plot reveals and things like that but this is a movie everybody knows about and if you just say the exorcist name it invokes many things, and the movie has them, so there's no real uh, surprises. A young child is possessed, goes to the doctors, and they show that angle, like, oh, what's wrong neurologically with this child? And it progresses from there into a full-blown, terrifying ordeal for the mother of this child and everybody involved. The priest, the acting is superb. It really knows what it's doing, done so well. Unlike Rosemary's Baby, which I'm a fan of, I could see friends who I've recommended these movies to lean towards The Exorcist. The subtlety and uh, sinisterness of Rosemary's Baby is a real plodding, slow thing that builds up. It's a different type of horror, whereas The Exorcist goes for it soon and doesn't let up, and it just keeps on going and terrifying you and just blows my mind how well it's done. I watch this movie all the time, every Halloween, sometimes multiple times a year. I watch all the extended cuts, and they add things in which are creepy, just all around amazing movie that it's in the horror genre that it was one of the only two movies that was like up for an academy award it was nominated uh, more power to it it deserves it it's screenplay the sound special effects they were all just grounded and done so so well it's it's a treasure it's one of those pieces of work 
Because to me, film and even TV, it's almost uh, amazing how you can even make something. There's so many moving parts, so many elements. I, mean, I could see it from my point of view, like, oh, I write a script or I write a story. And it's got to be made and you got to get thousands of people working on a project. And I could, it just blows my mind that these things can be made and made so well. And when they stand the test of time like The Exorcist has, it just proves that uh, the genre can be respected. It should be. Uh, there's a reason why people want to be afraid. They like to be scared. This movie is just flat out amazing. Now, there is so much legacy to this movie. The music, classic, sticks with you forever. I think it's hurt by one of its sequels so the linda blair aspect was explored again in her lady teenage years i enjoy the movie for what it is to me it's like a, a b movie and it has elements that i'm connected to from the first one so i watch it i give it a pass but i recognize its flaws but i love the third one the third one centers on the cop and the priest. It just blows your mind. Done so well. It's a cop movie, serial killer type movie that ties in. Just amazing. And it also spawned uh, a TV show that I got into. You know, maybe do a podcast on that. It spawned a big legacy. There's a lot of things that were added in. Uh, things that were so controversial at the time, just to talk about some of the things would be um, dangerous in a way. The thing she does with the cross, the language that's used, uh, you know, mother to daughter, it's, 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 a, it's uh, shocking sometimes. But I think it's it was much needed, the... Everything that goes along with it, the way it comes together, it's like when you talk about a movie like Jaws and Star Wars, how they just came together. However, if I look back and analyze Star Wars, you see a lot of the flaws and things like that. I still, it's part of my childhood. And you look at The Exorcist, it just holds up. On, it's a much easier premise to hold up, I grant it, but just to put it in that category alone means how much it means to me like what a great movie and even the book i've been a fan of there's so much to love in this movie and like i said the, the sequels might have hampered it but the third one is just outstanding in my opinion the torture they put this young actress in is documented and they had to put her in a harness and shake her around it's just mind-blowing like I said, how these things could be made. But man, what is done in this movie is just, just done so well it holds up. You can see things in later movies, even current ones. They, they all borrow from things. I understand that, you know, element of there's only so many stories you can tell. But it, it did it really well, amazingly well, and it's carried over a legacy that I think is at times in waves prevalent and, and just builds on um how good the first one is and like i said i think the third one's good too and maybe i'll do a podcast on the tv show which all right it's got some elements in it that carry over so i'm interested i won't give too much away but it does tie in so i'll do a separate podcast but this original movie 1973 the cultural bomb that went off, the reactions to the screenings, the documentaries, all the history is amazing, how it got produced and made, the struggles they went through, the impact it had on the film industry, and horror in general, it was a landmark and outstanding, all around performance, directing, writing, everything was just fell into place. And it's a movie that kind of relates to me. I'm born in 71. My mother saw the movie when she was, uh, I guess, in her mid-20s. And 
she can tell me, well, she was never really a church person, but she had beliefs like um, supernatural and stuff. But man, what a trip. Even today, watch The Exorcist. It's worth it. Get through it. Let yourself be scared. Let your imagination wander. I'll see everybody next time. Stay safe out there.